Hi, this is Abby Levine with Gaia GPS. In this lesson, you're going to learn all about the free maps you can use, from wildfire to air quality to satellite imagery to native lands. Let's check it out. Gaia GPS has an extensive catalog so you can fully customize the map for your adventures. You get some of these maps for free, namely those related to safety. If you live outside of the US, you can change Gaia Topo to Gaia Topo meters. If you are an iOS user, there are a few ways to change a map in the app. On Android and the web, your life is easier. There's only one way. Let's keep things simple by learning the universal way. iOS users start off by going to settings, scroll down to map menu and toggle off map packs. Okay, now we can tap the little map icon on the top right. Tap add map layers. Either tap or search for Gaia Topo meters, or whatever map you want to add. Tap that map to select it. During wildfire season and in areas with bad pollution, you can use the wildfire maps, air quality, and smoke forecast to find clean air and safer trails. I use these maps all the time living in Colorado, where we have smog and also a long wildfire season. So, there are two wildfire maps, current and satellite detections. Current shows the perimeter of fires burning throughout the entire US and Canada. The wildfire current map is updated daily with data coming from the US National Interagency Fire Center, National Resources of Canada, the province of British Columbia, Alberta wildfire, and the government of Saskatchewan. Click on a wildfire to get all the info, including its name, size, status, and date. The wildfire satellite detections map allows you to see hotspots. These real-time satellite-based wildfire detections come from the MODIS and VIRS satellites, with data representing point locations of areas that are super hot on the ground. This layer is updated several times a day as new data is made available by NASA. Use the wildfire current and wildfire satellite detections maps to see fire perimeters and also to find out where fires are still actively burning super hot. Wildfire smoke can flow very far and in all types of funky directions. To save your lungs, I recommend also checking the smoke forecast maps. There are three of these. Smoke forecast for today, tomorrow, and 48 hours, which you can use depending on when you're planning to get after it. These maps show current concentration of near surface smoke in the atmosphere, derived from the NOAA High Resolution Rapid Refresh, HRRR, and Blue Sky Canada weather models. The final air quality safety maps to check are, dun dun dun, air quality. Again, you have the choice of the current forecast and tomorrow's forecast. The air quality map data comes from the EPA's Air Now program and shows ozone and PM 2.5 data from numerous state, tribal, provincial, and federal agencies. If you're traveling in a mountainous region during winter, it's a very good idea to check the avalanche forecast. This map shows official up-to-date avalanche forecasts for the mountain zones in the US from avalanche.org. Use this map to find safer zones thanks to avalanche danger ratings from the National Avalanche Center and the American Avalanche Association. Click an avalanche forecast zone to get complete avalanche reports from professional snow safety scientists. There are a few other non-safety maps you get for free including satellite imagery, which you can use to scout clearings for camping, to find the alpine, and of course, to find shade. You can also use the native lands map, which is one of my personal favorites. If you want to deepen your knowledge of the land you're on, check out this map created by the Canadian nonprofit Native Land Digital. The native lands map marks traditional indigenous territories across the Americas, Australia, New Zealand, and increasingly worldwide. You can use it to dig into the past, present, and future of indigenous territories while you're planning a trip to a new area or adventuring near your backyard. Click that additional info page to contact the indigenous nation and to access more info about their language, history, and land. While this map doesn't show official boundaries, it serves as a very cool representation and also an amazing educational tool to begin engaging with the complex history of indigenous nations around the world. Thank you for watching this lesson and for learning about these tools you can use to both stay safer and to deepen your knowledge of the landscape. See you out on the trail.